So you'll end up with four strands, four strands like yep. that. Kind of evenly. Well, I don't know if they're quite evenly, but. <laughs> and then you, what you do, the first thing you do is you cross the two middle ones. Um, you cross one over the other in the middle, like that. I'm not sure it's skinny enough here. And then I start from the right, but I put the last one over the second one, I guess. <laughs> so you go over, and then you take the first one and you go under the third one. So it's kind of like a crisscross. That's what it's supposed to look like. Almost like tic-tac-toe. Yeah, almost like tic-tac-toe, yep. And then you do it again, you cross over, and then you go under and crisscross. It looks like that. Then you take again from the right, you go over, and then you go under and crisscross again. And it looks like that. And I think we can get maybe one or two out of it to finish off. You go over and you go under and then you crisscross. And it doesn't look like we can get a whole lot more out of the end of the loaf. So then you just take the ends and then you just tuck them underneath like this. And then it makes a pretty little end of your loaf. Then the other side, we'll just flip it around so you can see it a little bit better. Have the four strands. You go over, and then you go under, crisscross. You want to try to push it up a little bit so it can all stick together. And you go over, last strand, and then under, crisscross. Over, under, crisscross. Over, under, crisscross. And then you just tuck the ends underneath and you have a beautiful little four strand loaf. Ta-da! Thank you, Trish. Yes.